In today's video, we're gonna use a barbell in ways you've never used a barbell before. By the end of this video, you're gonna have four new ways for goalies to train using a barbell that doesn't involve putting the barbell on your back at all. I have this barbell set up in what's called a landmine position. Um, so if you see an exercise called landmine whatever, it's really just using a barbell and using one end of the barbell. There are little attachments you can get that you know the end of the bar slides into and then it has a universal joint. Those are fine but you really don't need it uh, in particular for any of the drills we're going to do today because we're never sort of pushing on the bar so the bar should never be sliding along the floor. The first exercise we're going to work on is the landmine deadlift which is one of my favorite exercises because uh, and in particular for goalies because so many goalies have trouble dissociating movements at their hip with movements at their back so what that means is you're overusing your back like even when you um, you know recover your skate underneath you to push from your butterfly you're side bending at your back you're flexing at your back rather than generating that power from your hip and stabilizing your your torso your torso is getting over involved so this exercise is really nice because it teaches you a good hip hinge pattern which is basically dissociating hip movement from spine movement or from trunk movement if we want to do a good landmine deadlift we'll line up so that our ankle bones are even with the end of the bar so it feels actually like you're a little too close to the weight intuitively you would might want to start you know back here a little bit but trust me get in there nice and nice and tight line up those ankle bones with the end of the bar and then we always set up the same way it's like a, a, another little ritual so we sit back with our bum but we reach forward with our hands and that gets us in a nice neutral back position as we get there then my hands just cup the bar I squeeze my shoulder blades together and from this position I stand up my hips come forward then I go back down the exact same way it's a hip hinge not a squat so my bum goes back I'm keeping a little squeeze between my shoulder blades keeping that good neutral back position and I should think about using my glutes as I lift this is a landmine half groin oblique press so instead of pressing straight up I'm gonna press out a little bit to the side so that I have to work a little harder in my torso to stabilize I'm extended here so there's a bit of stretch in my adductors I'm keeping my neutral back position so I'm not hyper extending my low back and then I'm going to stay strong in my torso as I press up and away slightly now if it's too heavy and you feel you're having to really strain to keep control then you need to lighten the load or you know just start with the press until you've built up some strength the, the goal is never on this one to be pressing way out here that's just gonna be a lot of load on your shoulder I want to get lengthened through here have you stabilizing your torso practicing staying tall in your torso while you work against a force and then you know the, sh the pressing is just a nice byproduct so it's a nice way we can get in a big pushing exercise build some shoulder strength but also get a lot of goalie benefit out of it as well for this exercise we'll usually do about six to eight reps on each side with you know sometimes like a three zero one one tempo we're in the same position for this next one and this is one that I didn't invent I uh, learned it from a coach at the NSCA uh, hockey strength and conditioning clinic maybe a couple years ago and honestly I, I can't remember exactly who it was that demonstrated it because there's so many great coaches there to learn from every year but um, so I didn't invent it so I think probably it would be awesome if you hit the like button just to shower them with love and even if they don't know that we're sending them love they'll probably feel it like they'll just be working with clients and be like wow I feel so loved right now so hit that like button uh, and then we'll get into this position again so our same kind of half kneeling groin position the barbell is overhead but I'm not letting my back hyper extend so I'm keeping my ribs down as I sit back and then come up so I'm sitting back in my hips 
and coming back up. Maintaining my neutral spine. And driving and predominantly off of this hip. landmine drill is going to give you some of that quick deceleration acceleration you need in the frontal plane so it's a fantastic drill for goalies so I'm holding uh, the the end of the barbell in one hand I'm gonna come out and do a lunge lateral so when I do that lunge lateral I want to stack my shoulder hip knee and ankle in a line I'll sit back in my hips then I'm gonna come up and press as I come across and then come into that lunge position Position on the other side as well. I'm not letting my torso get pulled around and I'm really trying to, even though it might not look like it, <laughs> decelerate and accelerate that bar quickly. So I'm not trying to get super low on that deceleration. I'm just trying to work that quick change of direction while keeping a stable torso, while not developing some of those bad habits we talked about in the last video, which was uh, side bending away from the direction that you're going. If you missed that, I'll put a link in the description or, or maybe magically make one up here, but don't hold your breath. Really, it's about finding the right tool for the exercise or finding the right exercise for the tool. It's always constantly asking yourself, what specifically am I trying to train? What muscles are involved? What tissues involved? What are the prime movers? What are the stabilizers? What's the kind of volume that I need and, and the specific positions that I need to train? It really comes down to biomechanics and anatomy. Simple. And now I'm going to ask you to hit like, then I'm going to ask you to subscribe, then I'm going to ask you what training tool do you want me to make a video about? So just like this, what, look around your basement, what do you have? Sort of that stability ball over in the corner that's kind of looking saggy and sad, or maybe it's just a yoga block or whatever. Whatever it is, put in the comments below, tell me what you got, and I'll make a video like this showing you, you know, three or four different exercises that will help you as a goalie win more games with fewer injuries. And if you want programs for mobility, strength, speed, stamina, hand-eye, that are just all put together for you so that you just have to follow them. You don't have to think about it at all. You just have to do it. Uh, then head on over, let your fingers do the walking on over to shutoutacademy.com because uh, that's where I got that for you. Otherwise, I will catch you next time. This is Maria from goalietrainingpro.com.